After we're done with the instrumentation, regardless of the system that you use, whether it's handheld or nickel titanium files, uh, I, I operate with warm gutta percha. I operate pretty much the same, the, regardless of the type of instrumentation system that one chooses to use. So I'll fit a master cone of either gutta percha or resolon. Standard gutta percha is fit to the last size instrument that you use when you're shaping the canal and whether you're using a resolon cone or standard gutta percha cone you want to achieve what's known as tugback so you want the cone to fit within about a millimeter of your established working length during your instrumentation and then that last millimeter it feels very good when that gutta percha is tight so you, you push it down that last millimeter approximately and then you have what's called tugback meaning you pull on a little bit and it doesn't just come out right away. If it comes out right away then you have to go back to some instrumentation to create perhaps a better flare or to try a different size gutta percha cone so that you have that tugback. The tugback is critical for warm vertical obturation because without tugback you could either remove the entire cone when you're doing your system B heat transfer or you run the risk which is even worse of possibly pushing the cone through the apex of the tube. place that down in the canal and you activate the heat with your thumb, a little coil on the handle of the system B. You'll hear a buzzing sound and you're actually melting the gutta percha or resolon as you go down apically in the canal. You get to within approximately five millimeters of your working length and then you take your finger off the coil, allow the instrument to cool and allow the gutta percha to now cool and then important step is to touch the coil for one second to create a heat surge, push apically and pull out to separate the gutta percha that remains in the canal from the rest of the gutta percha. So the goal after the system B tip is removed is to have the majority of the gutta percha wrapped around that tip while leaving the apical plug of gutta percha or resolon intact in the canal. At the same time the system B is removing gutta percha, since the tips are hollow, you're actually transferring heat to the remaining gutta percha. And while that remaining gutta percha and the apical plug is still warm, we bring in the S condensers, which consist of a nickel titanium end and a stainless steel end. And the nickel titanium end is the thinner end with markings at five millimeter increments. And I use the uh, nickel titanium end of the S condensers to now down pack that warm plug of apical gutta percha. And it helps for the gutta percha to now spread into the canal, getting a better, tighter seal 
in the apical third of the canal. The rest of the obturation is easy. I take the optura and I place it in the canal, usually using a 23 or 25 gauge needle tip with either the resonate gutta percha pellets or standard gutta percha pellets in the optura. And then you place the tip, needle tip into the canal. Very important is to now make contact with the remaining apical plug of gutta percha because remember, you've given that apical plug of gutta percha time to cool. And if you put the optura in and immediately start expressing the gutta percha or the reslon material, you run a risk of having a void or a gap between the apical plug and the rest of your fill. So we take the optura needle, put it in contact with the apical plug of material, let that sit for three seconds, which in essence is reheating the apical plug, and then in one motion with the gun, we backfill the tooth. And what I like about the optura has very good tactile sense where as you're pressing the trigger, you actually feel it walking you out of the canal. I feel it works much better than a lot of the passively filling techniques where the gutta percha just flows out. This only flows as you're pressing the trigger and we use the term walking yourself out of the canal. I do that in one motion and that is called the back filling of the canals and after I do that, while the gutta percha is still warm, I'll take the thicker end, the stainless steel end of the S condenser and just do my final packing at the level of the orifice before temporizing the tooth.